Hi friends, welcome back to the Guitar Spa where we bring you all the beautiful guitars reviewed just for you and uh, more great guitar reviews just came in and this is a 1998 uh, Taylor uh, W12C and W stands for walnut basically is a claro walnut that is made uh, that is actually from the in the uh, USA and this uh, is a 1-2 uh, series uh, bef and as we all know that in the 90s uh, tailors are uh, they call it the golden age where uh, guitars were made slightly but one by one piece by piece and even you get the UV finish you get uh, the lovely uh, neck that is uh, like slim cuffed and uh, these are the other ones that over time uh, you get really great uh, exceptional sweet tone um, there's some people say it's not found on the on the newer guitars and um, um, I leave it to you because everybody is entitled to opinion and this is uh, let's get this started this is a 1-2 series you can see lovely tailor that just arrived this was hand carried back from the USA 1998 uh, beautiful piece mm. um, let's get started the top is a uh, western cedar red cedar top and this top uh, basically what uh, cedar does is cedar has a, a richness that is not found in spruce. It's like a, a an aged spruce guitar. That means if the guitar has been really loosed up, aged, and, and it really plays very well, and you don't really need a lot of that uh, right hand tonic to to just get the sound out. And something to note also, it has a really lovely uh, bass that is slightly looser than compared to normal spruce. And also, it's also it's also a soft wood. So if you just take your 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 hand to just like knock it, there'll be dings all over very fast. So, um, but you get the advantage of the only advantage you get is the tone, the sweet tone that many people love. You know, people like uh, Phil Keighy, people like uh, James Taylor. They 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 use uh, a cedar top guitar and 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 pair it up with a nice uh, the Berger rosewood or even right now here the Claro walnut. Or even a, a maple uh, guitar, it sounds magnificent. So uh, this one comes with the uh, cedar top, and uh, not really the uh, X brace. It's not really forward shift, so you get the normal uh, one and a half inches away from the soundboard um, X brace. And the old Taylors, what what uh, you have is a more balanced bass and more articulate trebles. I like the trebles because and the tops are a little bit more more structurally sound and you don't get a lot of bloating for a guitar that 1998 until now it's it's really uh, quite a, a, a good condition guitar and this uh, this one has the Avalon top edge on on this guitar that gives you that beauty it will be it's like a, a, a lady that I've said many times many times is uh, wearing makeup and, and, and wearing jewelry and this one has also the uh, lovely uh, Avalon rosette and the sound hole is bound with ivory. Ivory, uh, if you don't know, it looks like uh, ivory, but actually it's just a uh, cream plastic. The back and sides are, are claro walnut. As you can see, you can see some flame on this uh, on this walnut. And what is the uh, characteristics of the walnut tone? It's between uh, Indian rosewood and maple. Um, really, you get a little bit of not excessive bass, but uh, just sufficient bass, like the a uh, little bit not as much as uh, Indian rose, so you won't get too much overtones. But you also get the fundamental notes on this guitar. Uh, the fretboard basically, this is uh, the old Taylor necks are all one piece neck and uh, they are sleep cups, so it really plays like electric guitar. Uh, the inlays on this guitar are all the old uh, 90s uh, 900 series inlays where they started. And even on headstock, headstock is ebony uh, with the special inlay that is like the 900 series uh, that they've seen before. Uh, gold Groover tuners on this baby, Tass nut, Tass saddle. I've upgraded the saddle to the FMI to give you a richer tone, the richer uh, sounding tone. Ebony bridge, but this one looks like Makasa ebony with a little bit of that color here. You can you see from here? And um, how does this guitar sound? Um, it's exceptionally lo uh, lovely. This guitar is like and so. This is strung with the uh, EJ16, if I'm not wrong. LDR 1253.
this I didn't really need to really dig um, my my right hand because uh, if I dig there will be the the, the disadvantage of cedar is if you dig the the overdrive it is, it distorts. <laughs> So it is this drop, but this one is because it's braced correctly. You can still dig it in, but I prefer more control when you play. I mean, control is to so you can allow just the right balance between the travels and, and and the bass strings. <laughs> Baby on third fret, and I'm gonna just come closer a little bit so uh, you can really hear what is playing in this.
There you go, there you go, guys. Uh, you have the Taylor W12C, a Cita top with the uh, Claro Walnut back and sides. The, uh, the Walnut series no longer offered by Taylor because uh, you don't get a lot of Walnut woods, and so it's under the BTO build to order. Uh, so you gotta pay a little bit more money to get this uh, custom, but uh, I've seen some really um, outrageous uh, figured flame. Uh, Claro Walnut uh, in, in the market and they, they look really good and for this guitar it's 1998 more than 10 years old is it's exceptionally well maintained and, and it's really in good condition there's no bridge lift uh, the finish looks like new like it just came out from the factory but most important so is the the exceptional sweetness of this tone I generally love the uh, Grand Concert series uh, because even though you may not have that that huge amount of bass that uh, many many strummers look for, but when you, you can actually have a strummer, it's sufficient. No? When you strum, if you control it, get 
have your right hand technique, you get your playing technique uh, uh, right. You can actually dig out this guitar and get a, a really uh, great tone out of this guitar. It's uh, you know, does guitar mix music or does the musician get the, the best out of the music? Most important, I would say, you get a great gear, but you need the fingers. It's magical. Work on your technique to get the the, the sound out. So this is a W one two C Taylor. Claro Walnut series with the 900 series inlay that uh, is on the old 900 series inlay that is on the fretboard and also the headstock from Taylor Guitars. If you like this review, what you can do is uh, post some comments just below this YouTube video. And if you want to watch more great guitar reviews, let me suggest strongly suggest to subscribe to this channel. And um, Importantly, if you have a guitar that doesn't sound well, send it in to somebody that's reputable, somebody that you trust. Or if you're in Singapore, you can just contact me. I can just give you a free consult, have a look at your guitar. And, and, and what if your guitar can be optimized? What if I can just fit this guitar, uh, adjust the action, adjust the, 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 the truss rod, adjust the action at the saddle, fit a new saddle, and give you a battery action, allow you to play effortlessly uh, the, t the tunes that you want to and improve your playing but most importantly is to enjoy knowing that you become a better player at the end of the day when your gear when your guitar is set up correctly I think that's the most important uh, thing that you need to know with the correct gauge of strings the correct technique a good teacher you can get very far and you can be the rock star of your dreams so I'm going to sign off soon my name is Jarvis Live with passion, play guitar, while love, joy, peace, health, and wealth to be multiplied with grace and peace in your life. Incidentally, Taylor guitars are all distributed in Singapore from Cinemax, Cinemax Park Lane in the basement. Uh, do a Google search. Do not ask me where, what is Cinemax address. Don't be lazy. Just do a Google search. I'll see you very soon. Bye-bye, friends.